this is what the response I expected. Roromo was Zoro and Sasuke Uchiha are the two close side characters for the anime Naruto and One Piece. Multimodal using Gemini Pro. You heard me right. In this video, we will implement a multimodal application using Gemini Pro and Llama Index. So without further ado, let's get started. And if you have not heard about Gemini, then probably you are very late in this AI trend. Uh, to give you a small clue about Gemini, it's a Google's generative AI model, which is far more capable than GPT-4, uh, as it is mentioned in the paper. So for more, you can just Google out Gemini and you'll be able to fetch more details on what Gemini is about. And Gemini is available in three different uh, variants. One is Ultra, we have Pro, and we have Nano. So Nano, basically, it is used for edge cases and Ultra for providing more additional functionality where you can uh, do multimodal on videos. And Pro is a normal version where you can uh, play around with the images. In this video, we will be playing around with images and we have two different approach that we will be taking. The first approach is image URL and the second approach is using local files. So quickly, let's get started. The first step is very simple. You need to install the libraries and the libraries that we need to install is Llama Index. And if you are not familiar with Llama Index, we have a detailed video on how you can get started with Llama Index. Uh, you can check out the link in the description. And the second library is we need Google Generative AI, pretty straightforward, and we need 0.3.0 version. So I've already installed. If you can see, there is a green tick mark on my uh, Collab Notebook. So let's quickly get started with my uh, image URL. So in order to get your API key, the first step is we need the API. You can't proceed with Gemini without an API key. Uh, the reason being is very obvious. Gemini is not open source. That's where you need the API key. And you have a URL using which you can create your API key. And the URL is simple, ai.google.dev. So this is the URL. So once you hit this URL, you will have the website of Google AI for developers built with Gemini. The only thing what you need to do is just click on the button where it says get API key in Google AI Studio. So once you click on this button, it will redirect you to makersuit.google.com. You just have to click on get API key and create new API key in your new project. I've already created my key, so I'll directly copy paste it. And in order to copy paste, I will use a library called get pass. And also I need to save my key in an environment variable. And the keyword that you need to use is Google underscore API dot key. So this is the keyword that you need to use. Make sure each and every alphabet is in uppercase OS dot environment. Inside that Google API key, you need to save. So let me quickly copy paste. Let me copy my API key. So I'll just write Google API key. I'll use a get pass function so that it's not visible to anyone. And I'll just use Google API key. That's it. This is it that I need to do and I'll just run this. So let me run this. I don't know why it's showing yellow mark, but that is fine. I'll copy my key. Name error. Okay, I've added a dub, uh, extra O, that is fine. So it should be Google API key. Let me run this again and let me paste my API key. So this should do. I hope I've copied the right API key. Yes, I've copied the right API key. So now let's quickly get started with the code. And in order to get started, let's use any random image. And I also have a random image ready in my case. And if not, you can just directly go paste any URL. In my case, this is my image. Let me show the image to you. Uh, this is a cricket image. We have England versus New Zealand. And this is a picture where Jaws, Butler or Joe Root is getting bold. So this is my input image. I've also added this particular link in the description. If not, you can use any uh, URL that you need. 
so i'll just write image url and whatever my url is so let's verify whether i am able to display my image or not and in order to use that we will use p uh, pillow library from python from file import image and in order to display we also need import matplotlib import matplot matplotlib.pyplot as plt since it is an image url we also need a library called requests so that we can read a url and then we need a bytes so that we can load our image in a bytes form so bytes io so these are the four libraries that we need and i'll just write our response so let's first get the url using request.get image url and once you have the image url you need to get your image image dot open you need to use bytes io bytes io the response and you need to fetch the content so what we are doing is we have a image which is a website we need to use a request library to fetch the website content and load it in a bytes io format and you can open this bytes image using a library called pile and let's display it and in order to display we'll just use pld.imshow image and i don't need any access so i'll just remove the access to be off so let's see okay request it's not gets it's actually gets my bad my bad so it should display the image properly so as you can see it's england versus new zealand this is my input image this is my input image not bad now what we need to do is what you whatever image you have you need to pass it as a document to your gemini model and how do we do that this is where we have llama index library and what you can do is from llama index from llama index we need to use multi modal dot llms dot we have something called as generic utils from there we need to import load image urls and we also need to import our large language model which is gemini multi modal it should be multi underscore modal llms it should be underscore llms dot gemini import gemini multi modal so let's see if there is any error or not hopefully it should not okay why is it giving me an error so it is from llama index dot multi modal okay this should be multi modal from llama index dot multi underscore modal underscore llms dot generic utils i need to import my image urls and same goes to from llama index dot multi underscore modal underscore llms dot gemini import my gemini multi modal so i am my document loader i am my uh, large language model so let's connect my model with my data this is what llama index is famous for so in order to connect both of this i need to create my image document so since we are using two approaches i'll make this to be image document one because we need one more image document for my second approach so i'll define my image document and i will load my image using load image urls and i will directly pass my image url if you see if you see the hyper parameter we need to pass a list so we'll just use a list and then we will pass our image url this is my image document and then i need my gemini model which is gemini pro vision will be using a vision model gemini multi modal 
I need to define the model name. The model name is models, which is my path. And then Gemini Pro Vision. So this is my model name. So the first step is simple. I need to define my document from which I will load my image URL. And if you look at the hyperparameters, you need to pass it inside a list. And then we have to define our large language model, which is Gemini multi uh, Gemini multimodal. And we you need to define your model name, starting with models, backslash Gemini Pro Vision. So we have defined our model. The next step is we need to connect both of this. We need to connect. Now, how do you connect? I'll just tell chain or uh, chain won't be a proper term. I'll just write response simple. So I'll just write response. I'll use my Gemini Pro and you have a function called complete. So you have a function called complete. Inside complete, you need to define a prompt. I'll define a prompt saying name both the team names and also team names and also describe the image and once you define your prompt you also need to define your image documents image documents your image document is nothing but image document one and once you do this just run it hopefully it should not give me any error and I'll just print my response. So it took eight seconds to generate the response. Let's see what the response is. The response is the image shows a cricket match between New Zealand and England. The New Zealand player is the wicket keeper and England player is the batsman. The wicket keeper is taking the ball, uh, the bales of the stumps to appeal for a wicket. The batsman is the but the batsman is out of his crease and is trying to get back in the time. The umpiring is signaling that the batsman is out. So it just gave too much of intelligence. The first thing is it didn't got stumped. Rather, he got bold and there is no umpire. But that is fine. You can experiment with different images. And there are few hyper parameters that you can set such as temperature. Uh, let's proceed with approach to. And in order to proceed with approach to, as usual, what we did in uh, Lama Index introductory video, you need to create a folder. So I'll create a folder, new folder. And I will name this folder to be data. And inside my data, I will upload a file. So you can upload any image you want. You can also upload multiple images based on your need. In my case, I'm just uploading a Naruto and Luffy image. And that's how the um, image looks like. You have Naruto and Luffy. Uh, these two are the anime characters, probably the most famous main characters. So what we need to do is, we need to use something called as simple directory loader. From Lama index, I need to import simple directory reader. And now what we did was in approach one, we used load image URLs for my image document. In approach to, we are directly uploading our local file and we are using simple directory reader. And simply you can define your image document to image document, image document to, and you need to define simple directory reader and just define your data part directory path. So what is my directory path? It is nothing but data. And you just have to load, load the data. So this will be our second document. And let's define our response to. Response to equals to same. We need to use Gemini Pro dot complete function. And inside complete function, you need to define the prompt. I'll just tell who are the characters and what's so special about them. So now when I take this image, right, it's probably very generic. You have two anime characters. 
and we just want to see whether gemini is able is capable to give me the response or not so let's just test out and i need to define my image documents i need to define my image documents and my document is nothing but image document 2 now this document is nothing but naruto and luffy image and i'm asking a prompt saying who are the characters and what's so special about them it's going to take few seconds hardly around 10 to 12 seconds and it will generate a response see i was right i told you 10 to 12 seconds and it just took 10 seconds so let me print my response monkey d luffy is the main protagonist of the anime series one piece is a cheerful optimistic young man who dreams of becoming pirate king exact same response that i was expecting there is more to it he is highly loyal to his friends and crew and is always willing to fight for what he believes in that's accurate we also have one more response naruto uzumaki is the main protagonist of anime series naruto he is a loud hyper active ninja who dreams of becoming the okage the leader of his village is a loyal friend and teammate and is always willing to help those in need that's great i'll try with different prompt i'll try with different prompt i'll just write name the side characters name the side characters who are very close to the characters as given in the image so i'm just using a response to instead that i'll use response 3 and i'm running the model again hopefully it should not give me an, an error because i've just updated the prompt and i have so many limits so that i can use my api key so hopefully it will give me a response it just took 8 seconds response 3 so let's see what the response is okay it gave me uh, rorono azoro and sanji bin smoke that's right but i need some naruto as well uh, so let's update the prompt name the side characters who are very close to close to both the characters as given in the image so i was just expecting zoro and uh, sasuke but instead it gave me sanji maybe it took the context only from uh, one piece let's see what the response is now this is what the response i expected rorono azoro and sasuke uchiha are the two close side characters for the anime naruto and one piece wow this is great and this is it from this video and you can go around add your google api key of gemini and you can just play around with both the approaches this is too fun and more videos are about to come on advanced rack using llama index until then stay tuned and join our discord channel the link is in the description thank you for watching